Thank you. Thank you. We love, we love what we do. And uh, we, hope you, we hope you sense that, you know? So, we got people here tonight who go way back with Queen. I applaud you. Uh, got a bunch of really, really cool people here in Tulsa. I was very, very late to the Queen game. I was, um, even though I, I've been a musician all my life, you know, it's been my number one passion. But uh, I discovered Queen in a little movie called Wayne's World in the early 90s. <laughs> and, and even then, it, uh, it didn't even click with me that there was any resemblance. I mean, I was in my teens, so uh, my voice hadn't matured yet. But I heard that song in that scene. And I was like, what is that masterpiece? I'd never heard it before. Um, and uh, I started a band in the late 90s, uh, my own band, our own music. And after a while, as I got older into my 20s, people started to come up to me and say, you know, you know who you remind me of? And uh, they would say, Freddie Mercury. And I'm like, I I'm not really sure who that is. And, and uh, my bass player, who's way, way cooler than me, he, he bought Hot Space when it came out in 1980. Um, and he's, he's like, you know, they're right, you really should look into this Freddie Mercury guy. And so I was like, well, I gotta check out this guy who's making me sound so damn unoriginal. <laughs> so, he beat me there. Uh, he figured it out way before I did, and I learned a lot, so much about singing from Freddie Mercury, and so much about music. Woo! And yeah, I owe, owe a lot to him for sure. And, um... I, I, in my investigation, I, I quickly dis discovered that he wasn't just a rock guy, like he was in interested in all sorts of music, and namely opera. I don't know if you know this, but late in his career, he recorded a whole album of, of sort of opera music. And uh, I thought that was really cool because my parents, when I was a kid in the 80s, they bought this VHS tape called The Three Tenors. And it had Pavarotti and Carreras and uh, Domingo on it. And uh, it was, I thought it was, it was beautiful, beautiful classical music, and I would go lock myself in the bathroom and see if I could do that sort of, so that no one could hear it. Like, oh, 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 I, I, I do a pretty good job now. And so it makes me wonder, if Freddie had more time, what would he have gotten around to recording? What sort of beautiful music? Maybe he would have gotten around to recording some really well-known classics. And if I may be so bold tonight, I'd love to maybe demonstrate what that might sound like. Fantasy, caught in a landslide, 
no escape from reality. Open your eyes. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy because I'm. Mamma mia! Mama mia. 